Hello, coin aficionados, and welcome to the Phil and Sing Coin Channel. Today we have six different 1972 Sampung Centimos coins, or 10 centimos. And these, as you can see, are the ones that have Francisco Baltazar facing to the left. And here he is, and it says Francisco Baltazar here, Sampung Centimos. There's a 10 here. And then if we look on the back, we see it says Republic. Republica Nang Pilipinas, 1972. And these coins are all the same. They're all copper, nickel, zinc coins. They weigh about two grams. And in 1972, they made 121 million of them, as far as we know. They're worth about 23 to 33, 35 cents United States. Um, not an incredibly valuable coin, but kind of a fun little coin. And so let's take a look at it and just kind of do a group, a kind of deep in examination of them. All right, so let's start right here with the one on the left, and it says Sampung Centimos, Francisco Baltazar, 10, and notice he has kind of a laureate here. We have the kind of geared inner rim. If we tip it up, we see that it has a reeded edge, and then if we flip it over onto the back, we say it says Republican Nang Filipinas, and down here, this happens with a lot of these coins. They just can't keep the words uh, on the banner in. You can kind of see them there. So let's see if we can find one with good words on the banner. Uh, how about this one? And this one, if we get it just about right, you can see it says Republican Nang Pilipinas right here on the banner. We see the eagle holding the arrows and the olive branches, the three stars, the sun, the lion standing up. Uh, both of these, of course, banners face upright. And it just says Republican Nang Pilipinas out around the outside. If we flip this one over, we'll also see that Francisco Baltazar is wearing like a high collared shirt. Now, he is uh, was a poet, and that's why you have this kind of laureate or laurel kind of um, headdress that he has on here. All right. Now these coins, um, they're very easy to get in the United States. They don't weigh very much, and so you won't be able to sell them uh, in the United States for very much. But it's kind of nice to collect them. They were made from 1967 until 1974, and the year that they made the least of them was 1969. And um, those ones are probably the most valuable. You may be able to get a dollar for the 1969 Sampung Centimos or 10 Centimos coins. Uh, they also made 10,000 in a proof set in 1974. If you get a chance to get the proof set or the proof coin of this 10 Centimos from 1974, that will have some value. All right. That's all we have today from the Phil and Sing Coin Channel. We'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and leave any comments you might have in the comments section.